Hey, what's up? Welcome back to another video here on Free Will Photos. We're back inside of the pre-release version of On One Photo Raw 2026. Now, today we're going to take a look at using the starting points in the effects module. If you're not familiar, this is the ability to essentially have effects already applied inside of the uh, effects stack, if you will, and you can mimic some of the software that maybe you're transitioning from or that you are familiar with like Lightroom, Capture One, or one of my favorite ways of using this particular tool or feature, if you will, is to create your own preset or your own workspace. So before we jump into the computer, I do wanna make you aware that if you want to pre-order On One Photo Raw 2026 and save a little bit of money, you can use my coupon code FREEWILL10. It'll be popping up on the screen as well as down in the description box below. This coupon is good until October 31st, 2025. And then after that, you can just use the regular Free Will Photos 20 coupon. Now let's go ahead and jump into the computer. So here we are inside of On One Photo Raw, again, pre-release version. So some things may look a little bit different once the official version is released. However, what you can see is I am in the effects module and I have this little icon over here. Right now it says blank, and this looks really no different than any other version of On One Photo Raw. But this is actually where the power comes in. So right now, if I wanted to add a filter, I can click add filter and come over here, click whatever filter I want. But what you can really do is use a starting point. So one of the more popular programs is Lightroom Photo Raw. So if I click on Lightroom, you'll notice that On One now gives me all of the filters that are essentially inside of On One available for using on this image. So if you're used to working in Lightroom, this may be a more familiar workflow for you. Now, by default, these workspaces that On One has created, they're turned off, but you can easily turn them on by clicking the little dot here. And now we're applying a lens blur filter to this particular image. And, you know, I could just go on and on about however I want to work with this. But the real power with these is that every time that you load an image, so if I were to go ahead and just save that, and then we'll open up this image right here. You'll notice that in when I open this up and I go into my effects stack, you'll notice I have the Lightroom workspace that's going to pop up as my starting point. So we'll just let on one catch up with my work here and then we'll click on effects. And here we are. You see, I still have Lightroom in this drop down. So it's always going to remember the last thing that you had selected in here. Now, where this really comes in handy is by coming down here to other and then coming to F or for me, I have my own workspaces that I've created uh, with one of them being right here. So I have this FWP basic needs. These are essentially the things that I like to use in on one on all of my photos or at least have them available to me. All right. Now, I'll show you how to create one of these, but it's as simple as making a preset. So if you're not familiar with creating presets, don't worry about it. We're going to go over it here in a little bit. So these are the tools that I would typically apply to an image. But let's go ahead and find the color enhancer and replace the channel mixer or the color mixer with the color enhancer. So I'm going to hit add filter here. And it's going to give me my filter list. And then if I come over to essentials, you'll see that I now have color enhancer right here. So if I click that, it's been added and then I can just go ahead and turn it off. It's always a good idea to have them turned off. You could leave the color enhancer and curves. And in fact, for this updated version of the preset, I am going to do that. So I'm just going to leave the color enhancer on and the curves on. 
And then I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of this color mixer because I don't need it. So I now have all of the tools that I personally use on my workflow. So now I'm ready to save this as a preset. In order to do that in the pre-release version, we're going to come over to develop and we're going to find this little rectangle with the downward arrow in it. When we click that icon, we get our workspace to save a preset. Now, one of my recommendations, so you don't end up accidentally editing an image whenever you use this particular tool, is you go ahead and turn off the crop and level, the develop, as well as the sky replacement if you're not going to use those tools. All right. And then I also recommend that you leave apply mask unchecked. So essentially, all I'm going to apply to this preset or this workspace, uh, which is what I like to call them, is effect or just the effects themselves. All right. And then I'm just going to call this FWP Basics 2. Now, you can save these wherever you would like to. I have a folder that I've created that is built in on one that says FWP workspaces makes it a little bit easier for me, but you can see you can just choose anything that's on your list uh, that you have. But for me, um, it should be there it is FWP. Uh, that's the black and white workspaces. And then I also have a work kit. I got a few things that I, I got going on here, but don't worry about it. That's more than what you need to know. So I'm just going to go ahead and leave it in my FWP workspaces folder, hit save. And now that is saved. So if I come over here to effects right now, I'm still on FWP basic needs. So let's click blank. That's going to clear it out. And now if I come down here, hover over other, and then I come down to FWP workspaces, you can see I have FWP basic needs, and then I have FWP basics two. I'm going to select basics two. And so now whenever I open up an image, these are the tools that are going to be in effects for me. So I can stay more focused on editing the image in front of me instead of guessing like, okay, what tool could I use? What tool do I want to use? This I'm actually really happy for and excited about. So I'd love to hear your thoughts about this tool in the comment section below. Now, if I hit this drop down one more time, I will go through the other two here, which is on one recommendations, um, which this is just the tools that on one recommends that you use. They probably have found that many users are applying these tools to their images, which I have uh, really no qualms with. I think that these are all solid tools. And then, of course, if you are a Capture One user, these are the tools that are similar to what you would find inside of Capture One. It's not a verbatim or a one-to-one -one match. So I want to be clear. And the same thing holds true with Lightroom. But if you're transitioning from one of these programs, this is going to help out a lot. And then once you learn how to use on one photo raw after you've made the transition, or maybe this is your primary editor and you didn't transition from uh, any other software, well, you can do what I did where you create your own because I personally don't need those other ones from on one. And I'll just go with FWP basics too, because this gives me everything that I need to edit images. And so now whenever I open a photo, these are already going to be applied in my effects stack and they're in the order that I would typically use them if I was going to use them. So that's just a quick look and a concept idea of how you can use the new starting point presets inside of All One Photo Raw to really start getting creative with your images. Now, there's a lot more to cover with On One, and I will definitely cover more stuff about on one photo raw as i continue to work with the software but i want to know your thoughts and comments on having something like this do you think that this is going to help you in your workflow is this something that you think you'll probably never use i just really want to hear what your thoughts are down in the comment section below of course if you want to save some money when picking up the pre-order 
of All One Photo Raw between now and October 31st. Consider using the coupon code FREEWILL10. It'll save you some money when you check out. I do make a small commission from everyone who uses it, but it's at no extra cost to you. It's a win-win. Until next time, I want you guys to stay inspired and keep creating. Peace.